American Indian literary nationalism is the name of an intellectual and activist movement within Native American literary studies. Topic: <inaudible> Origins. Simon Ortiz's 1981 essay, Towards a National Indian Literature: Cultural Authenticity and Nationalism is generally held to be the most significant precursor of the movement. Definition American Indian literary nationalists hold that American Indian literature is best studied through the lens of American Indian cultural and philosophical traditions. When the earliest works now categorized as nationalist were first published, this grounded Approach ran counter both to the ethnologically inflected literary criticism of the 1970s and early 1980s, and also to the postmodern critical methods that had largely succeeded these in the 1990s. The nationalists saw the first of these approaches as an attempt to keep native cultures primarily as the object of Anglo-American study, while the second relied heavily on Eurowestern models and thus again served to deprive native peoples of a legitimate voice. Nationalist criticism, by contrast, would keep crucial political issues such as tribal sovereignty at the forefront. Rather than being another ethnic literature within the American canon, American Indian literatures should be seen as the product of separate nations, and studied as such. <laughs> Key works Robert Allen Warrior's book Tribal Secrets, Recovering American Indian Traditions was the first full-length work of nationalist criticism. In it, he discusses the Osage novelist John Joseph Matthews and the Standing Rock Sioux philosopher Vine Deloria Jr., placing both in a specifically American Indian intellectual context. This book was followed by Jace Weaver's That the People May Live, which proposes an ethic of communitism as a key way to understand tribal literatures. Finally, Craig Womack's Red on Red, Native American Literary Separatism completed the emergence of the three key thinkers of the movement. Womack's book was the first full-length monograph to concentrate on the literary output of a single tribal nation, leading some to label it tribal-centric. After the publication of Elvira Pulitanos toward a Native American critical theory in 2003, which made multiple statements about the work of Warrior and Womack that all three major nationalists held to be inaccurate, Weaver, Warrior and Womack collaborated along with Abenaki scholar Lisa Brooks on American Indian literary nationalism, probably the clearest positional statement of the nationalist cause. <laughs> 